Hi and welcome. I'm the Reverend Dr. Cheryl Gaver, Presbyterian Minister in Eastern Ontario, and I'm also the questioning pastor. Today's question is, what does Christianity actually offer? So if you ask Christians, what why would I want to believe in Christianity? What does it offer? And you're going to hear phrases like Jesus saves or salvation or eternal life, uh, life everlasting in heaven, something along that line. And I think for many of you, it's many people, it's like, well, that sounds good, but what does it offer me today? And that's the question we're going to look at today. We're going to start, though, with what do we think this kingdom of heaven or paradise or life everlasting is going to be like? And the Bible gives us lots of imagery that we sort of pull together, basically from Isaiah um, book and the book of Revelation, but also from other books along the way uh, in the Bible. And it's paradise life in the kingdom of heaven is a place where there's no war no illness no violence no suffering no disease uh, no injustice no hunger no thirst um, no fear no death it's like a perfect world and that's something that's really worth having. And that's something we've been trying to create throughout history. And we've messed up. Let's face it. You look at the world today and you see injustice, you see violence, suffering, uh, prejudice, racism, all, that, all the bad things. And you go, well, if Christianity is so much better than anything else, shouldn't Christian countries be reflecting yeah we should be but no we're not we're no better and no worse than anyone else unfortunately but that doesn't mean we don't have something to offer today there's one theme that runs throughout the whole bible in some form is god telling us Fear not, do not be afraid. And that's like, can we imagine what life without fear would be? And then Jesus talks about, the, in the gospels, the kingdom of heaven or the kingdom of God is at hand. And no, we look around and yeah, as I said, Christian countries aren't any better than other countries in many ways. And then I look and it's not the countries, it's the people. And we know, yeah, Christian people, good, bad, yeah. But Jesus is basically saying, we can experience paradise for ourselves in our own lives. And that's something worth having, if it's true. So ask Christians, get them to talk, if you can, about their experience of God in their own lives. I can tell you a few examples. Years ago, I did something really stupid. I was standing on a chair that had no middle. So I was standing on the, the rim and sort of holding onto the back of the chair for balance as I was trying to reach something on a top shelf. And I lost my balance and the back of the chair hit me basically with my own weight. I cut my kidney in half, ended up in emergency, internal bleeding. And the doctors are, first off, they couldn't quite figure out how I did what I did. And then they were saying, well, you're going to, we're going to have to operate. You're going to lose your kidney. And this is, this is, you know, serious. 
And the one doctor said, she won't survive surgery. Her blood pressure is something like 70 over 50 or 70 over 40. I don't remember now. And at which point the first doctor took the second doctor and they left the room and I'm left alone trying to process what I just heard. And the sense of peace that passes all understanding. I know it's corny expression, but that's what it was. It just came over me. I knew I wasn't going to lose my kidney and I was going to be okay. Doctors came back in. They said they decided not to operate. Not, you know, big surprise. He said I wasn't going to survive surgery. Yeah, I don't think I'll be, you know, operate. And they were trying to get me to understand how serious this was, that this was not a laughing matter, that, you know, I could really be in big trouble. And I'm just like, mm -hmm, that's fine. Don't worry. I'm telling them not to worry. But I wasn't worried because I knew it was going to be okay. Didn't make sense to them, didn't make sense to me, but I knew I was going to be okay. And I was. I was in the hospital for two weeks, home, did something stupid again, back in the hospital for another two weeks, but I was fine. Years later, after I became a minister, I was in a different congregation and uh, leading a Bible study one Sunday, one weekday. And uh, it was a session on suffering. It didn't go very well because no one in the group had suffered. So, you know, I'm thinking about questions like, why me? Uh, why do bad things happen to good people? You know, all sorts of things like that. And no one in the group had asked those questions or suffered. So the whole Bible study sort of went, to put it mildly. And the minister came to me afterwards and said, did that surprise you? And I'm like, yeah, <laughs> just, I can't imagine people not suffering. And she said, well, let me tell you about these people. One just lost a child. One discovered she can't have children. One discovered has just been diagnosed with cancer and one lost his job. And I'm like, what? None of them see it as suffering. Somehow they have no fear, no anger, nothing. It's, you know what? That's a faith worth having. If that's what Christianity offers, the ability to deal with bad things in your life and to live without fear, that's something I want. How many times? have Christians, I'm sure it happens to others, but I only know the Christian uh, Christians who've told me is they have a sense they've got to call someone. You know, God told me to call you today or send me an email and it's just the right time. You know, how often have I felt, if, or the opposite, how often have I felt I need to call someone and I'm tired or I need a break, I need to make sure I take my day off, whatever, and I don't call the person. And the next thing I know, that person has died. And I'm like, God, why didn't I listen to you? And I, my apologies for those I, I didn't call um, who did die. But it's like, there's somehow you hear God is there telling us helping us through difficult times. You'll hear the phrase like the joy of the Lord. And I'm talking with some Christians and, and it's like, we're just being filled with this sense of joy, this peace, this inability to be afraid, no matter what. So I've been diagnosed with cancer. It's terminal. And, and I'm like, Part of me is terrified, absolutely. Who wants to die? Who wants to die in pain? And part of me has such peace. I find it impossible 
to be afraid and, or worried. And I'm like, that's a religion that's worth having. And if Christianity can offer you a life without fear or a life filled with joy, hope, peace, then that's a religion worth learning more about and maybe follow. So once again, I'm the Reverend Dr. Cheryl Gaver, Presbyterian minister. Thank you for joining me and have a great week. Take care and God bless.